Hi, welcome to Your Car Care Companion. Today's video is on how to use a jack. We'll be covering the floor jack here and also the scissor jack. Let me start off by explaining how it works. The floor jack works on hydraulic fluid. It has hydraulic fluid trapped in a chamber and when you pump it after closing the valve, it pushes that cylinder out making that pad rise up. You open and close the valve by turning this handle like this. Clockwise closes the handle, counterclockwise opens the handle, opens the valve. When you want to jack up the jack, you close the valve all the way nice and tight and make sure that when you go to jack it up you don't inadvertently turn the handle the other way and open the valve. That will cause the car to fall on you if somebody's underneath it. Make sure it's securely closed. Then you just crank the handle like so, and it jacks up the pad, raising the car like so. Once the vehicle is up and you're ready to lower it, all you do is take the handle, and it's good to use both hands and raise up on it a little bit to take the tension off. Then gently and firmly turn the handle counterclockwise, and you'll get a nice smooth lowering of the pad. It will be pulled down by springs if there's no weight on it. And if there's weight on it, the car will push it down as well. That's the safe way to use a jack. Now let me explain some details about what you need to be aware of when you actually jack up a car. When you go to use a floor jack, it's good that you're aware. It's good to be aware that as this pad goes up, it also moves kind of in an arc, and it will move towards the handle. It goes up and towards the handle. Because of that, you need to make sure that the wheels are unobstructed. By that I mean there's no dirt, grit, sand, or anything on the floor to keep these wheels from rolling. As you jack up the car and this pad moves, the jack will creep gradually in like this, just a little bit, and it needs to do that to keep this pad from slipping off the car. So when I go to jack up the car, I'll focus the camera on these wheels so you can actually see how far they move as you jack up the car. When placing the jack on the vehicle, you want to make sure it's in the designated lift areas, on the frame, or on a cross member. That way you won't damage the car when you lift it. Any other area is not the correct area to jack up the car. Now, I've placed a piece of tape on the ground where the wheels start. Now I'm going to jack up the car, and I want you to watch the wheels to see how far they creep in. Turn the valve to the right to close it, and jack up the car. Watch the wheels, those little wheels. Looks like about three and a half to four inches. Look at that a little bit closer. That's how far that wheel moved from jacking up the car. If there's dirt, grit, rocks, a, a dime obstructing that wheel, the wheel will not move, but something has to. So the pad will slip off of the car, and that jack can go up through the floor of your car, or the car can fall on someone. Make sure you have a clean floor whenever jacking up a car. Now, I'll lower the vehicle, and as I stated before, you want to raise up on the handle a little bit to take the tension off. Not enough to make it go to where you need to jack it up some more, but just about an inch. Raise up on the handle and then turn it firmly with both hands to lower the vehicle.
that is the safe and correct way to use a hydraulic floor jack. Thanks for watching. Please watch all of our other safety videos. Subscribe, like us on Facebook, and check out our webpage at carcarecompanion.com. Next up, we'll show you how to use a scissor jack and how it can fail even though it's not hydraulic. Okay, so here we have this, your typical scissor jack. Um, this is what the top looks like on many different ones. This fits right on the little rim of, of steel metal that goes along the base of your car or right underneath your door um, underneath the kick panel you just put that little crease of metal in there and then you jack up the car uh, the way the scissor jack works is it has a worm gear here and when you turn this end here it turns the worm gear and it makes clockwise it makes the jack go up counterclockwise makes the jack go down and of course you don't turn it with your hand most of these come with cars and they also come with this little turning tool here that it fits right in this little hole there's a hole in this end piece that I was turning the hole right here you stick that in there and then this this is like a handle and you just crank it just like that you just turn it, crank it. okay up and down so that's how it works now modes of failure these little jacks are very sturdy and they work very well if they're used properly. How they fail is, if you'll notice, the base is very narrow. It is very unstable. When they're in, laying down like this, they can easily tip over. If the car is rocked. Even this way, they're not very stable. The other thing that happens to these when they get off center, or the, the car is on an incline, or you shake the car, or somebody's in the car moving around, they can get off and the whole thing can buckle and twist. Um, these little these little dowel pins in here, these can wear out, shear off, and break. So this jack is made to lift straight up and straight down, not at an angle, not on an incline. When people use it incorrectly, that's when accidents happen. Okay. Now, I also recommend that whenever you use any jack, of course, you use wheel chucks. <clears throat> now these are wheel chucks that I really hesitate to recommend. I always recommend solid wheel chucks that don't have this little stand because a lot of times this isn't placed quite correctly. You'll notice there's a little bump right here that it's supposed to be behind. People put it like that and they put it behind the wheel and then the whole thing, you put a little weight on it and it'll collapse. And now you've got nothing. So you have to really pay close attention to what you're doing. Make sure this gets all the way up in the right position before you use this as a wheel chuck. People use these because they're collapsible, they're portable, you feel the car is convenient, but in the name of safety, I always recommend using a solid one. A lot of people use these anyway, so I'm just showing it so that you have a reference for wheel chucks. Now, let's go ahead and take our jack stand, uh, our, our scissor jack, and jack up the car. Okay, so now we're all set. We're gonna go ahead and jack up the car, but first I wanted to show you exactly where to place the jack underneath the car. If you notice, there's a, I put a couple of pieces of blue tape on the little piece of metal stripping that the manufacturer put on the base of the car where the jack is to be placed. So I'm gonna get in a little bit closer so you can actually see it, and then I'll place the jack on it before we jack up the car. So the jack goes right here. See that? And then you can actually just put it in place by hand until it makes contact and then switch over to your tool. So the next shot, you'll see me lifting the car with the tool. Okay, now I'm gonna actually go ahead and use the tool that I showed you earlier and jack up the car. We take the hook and we put it in this little hole here and then we turn clockwise. So you hold this part and you just turn it. And you turn it until the tire comes off the ground. 
you have a flat, you can change your tire on the side of the road, just like this. Just try to make sure that you're in as flat of a location as you can find, that you're not in gravel or soft dirt, and that there aren't people inside the car bouncing around. There you have it. So now, it's much easier to lower it because you have the weight of the car helping you a little bit. All you do is turn counterclockwise, lower the car, until the tire touches the ground, continue to turn the jack until it disengages with the car, and pull it out.